Hi, this is Far Starter, and this is a review of the SH Figure Arts Thanos from the movie Avengers Endgame. So this is the packaging. We have uh, the figure here at the window. We have the SH Figure Arts blurb, Thanos, Avengers Endgame logo, ba uh, Time Machine Nations, Bandai. What it looks like on this side, we have the Time Machine Seal quality right here. And then what it looks like on this side and then at the back, uh, we just have a, a few features for Thanos in Avengers Endgame. And uh, just le letting you know what it looks like on top and bottom as well. So let's open the box so I can tell you more about Thanos and let's compare him with the old one and uh, let's go! The tyrannical titan gets hopefully its final look in the SH Figuarts Marvel series. Thanos' look is a step back having a full armor similar to his entry in the Infinity War movie. The figure's face sculpt hasn't changed which makes sense to be more cost effective for Bandai. Some of the parts are hard PVC while some have more flexible plastic make. The set includes four hands, two face replacements, and his double bladed weapon. The trick to place this on Thanos is to remove one of the blades in order to slide the hands in. His helmet splits into two horizontally for you to switch up his faceplate. But since this only shows half of the head, you can use the head from the Infinity War version to compensate it. So let's make a comparison between the two fantasies, one from Endgame and one from uh Infinity War. The height comparison is really different um, between the two because I think this is armored. So if you can see here, the fists are lower on uh, Infinity War than of Endgame. So if you make a comparison also on the height from the head, uh, this one has a helmet and this one doesn't have one. So you can see the difference between the two. And the gauntlets are different as well. Um, this one is more bronze-ish than uh, the uh, Avengers Infinity War version. But um, overall, uh, that's the biggest difference between the two. So, sorry, I just need to take uh, the old Thanos away. Uh, again, let's go through the articulation points. We have a head and neck articulation right here. We have shoulder articulation. It doesn't have an upper bicep swivel, but it can move up and down. Um, and then in the 90 degree angle, we have double jointed elbow. It can only go until this angle. Wrist joint, you can rotate it 360. Uh, upper torso and waist, this, is, this, this really feels really great on Thanos. Uh, it means that you have a lot of the way to move the figure from left to right. And then we have leg articulation right here. It go in and out, up and down, side to side. Um, the ankle joint only goes up and down. It doesn't have a side to side uh, movement and also a toe joint here so other than that you can exchange the head with the infinity war version if you want him without the helmet you can detach this one if you want to but it's going just going to be a half of the head it's not there's no one complete head from uh, the endgame version and the lo this loincloth is actually the incorrect side. Um, this is glued, so if you have an issue with this, you can always s or slightly um, detach it from the waist and then reverse it by removing the entire torso and um, reversing the loincloth altogether. So those are the things that you need to know about Thanos from uh, Avengers Endgame. There is a lot of missed opportunity to make a full circle to what Thanos was in the movie. Firstly, the paint could have been darker in some areas that are not gold and increase the gold in most. The crotch cover could have been in the correct position. If we are going deep into accuracy, Bandai should have gotten a chance to change the gauntlet to Iron Man's version or at least been open to add that option in the box. Finally, the shoulder articulation takes its cue from Infinity War, but the top shoulder armor gets in the way of their overall movement. And that is my review of the SH Figures Thanos from the movie Avengers Endgame. If you want to know the possibilities for this figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video and don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to the channel for more SH Figures reviews.